pages to set up for no reason in particular other than the fact that I don't like taking on big projects and I knew this was going to be one but I want to first of all thank Anika for giving me the idea in the first place to swatch nude natural um, flattering lipsticks for our skin tone and she wanted me to do a different color series and I definitely plan to do that in the future but it's just I knew it was going to be a mammoth project. I'm going to try and go through maybe 10, 15 of my favorite nude lipsticks and more than anything I kind of want to uh, give you a category of how it could look on you because I know when I was getting into makeup I didn't have a lot of other bloggers who are my skin tone and I could really imagine how something would look on me. In general, so, I want to provide you a point of reference and tell you about lipsticks that I love and why I love them. But other than that, it's just a brown girl swatch fest and I hope you enjoy. And I also want to thank Samira Apu from The Millennial Ma for re-inspiring me to get into this video because she asked for some natural like nude lip su uh, suggestions and that got me swatching and thinking and I'm like, okay, I've put it off long enough. It's about time I filmed this video and that's why I'm gonna do exactly that. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it fun and subscribe, <laughs> interact, do whatever you want really. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get started with the video just to say one more thing. I'm currently wearing the Pat McGrath uh, lip balm in the color clear and this is what I've been using to condition my lips and I find it actually quite effective. And even if you put lipstick directly on top of it, especially like mattifying liquid uh, lipsticks, it um, really makes it a lot more comfortable to wear throughout the day. So that's it, pretty long intro there, but this is already a tip to begin with, so stay tuned. So pretty soon off the bat, we come to one of my favorite lipsticks in the whole collection. So this one is called Blow Up by um, Pat McGrath. And the reason that I like it is it gives the most delicate sheen. Like you could, it's like those classic my lips but better lipsticks. I don't know, that was a category that existed in the early 2000s. So it's a sheer wash of color. It's hydrating and it's comfortable to wear. So on the days that you've overdone it with the whole matte lipstick thing, I know I'm very guilty of doing that. Um, this is a great one to come back to and kind of have a conditioning treatment for your lips, but also give it a bit of color. So yeah. tried the Pat McGrath lipstick Venus in Furs, um, the matte trans one, and I've got to say it's one of those unique browns which go on really soft, smooth, buttery, but more about the undertones. It's very neutral. It's It's got that 90s kind of neutral taupe brown lipstick going on, which some might find boring, some might call a mom lip, but I personally think it's very glam. It's very like mod, like I would imagine this with twiggy lashes looking amazing. And it's also like perfect for the office or if you wanna go out and have like a slightly dressier eye going on. So I don't normally gravitate towards these colors, but having worn this, it is changing up my mind. Quite liking it. <laughs> This is the Ilamasca Ultra Matter Lipstick in Bare, and this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that 60s nude coming back to that Twiggy topic. But it is this just smoke screen of lipstick, which makes the li lips look like a soft blush pink. I'm not wearing any blush, but I think it just suits it perfectly. For um, me personally, I would classify in the true nude category. And I know that changes according to skin tone, color, warmth, a lot of things. But for me, this would fall in that um, true nude category. Again, leaning back into that um, true natural, no undertones of pink, true nude category, we have the Lisa Elridge lipstick in Velvet Muse. 
Now, I know my lips are really dry by this point because this lipstick was tugging. And I know this is one of the smoothest, like, whipped consistency you have, like, with no drag across the lip. And once it settles, it's just, again, as I said, this smokescreen of lip color, which is so soft, so diffused. It really conceals any lines. Um, That's really not perfectly applied, is it? But... You can see the color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It does sell out every time that she has her collections come out, which tend to be in the later half of the years. And I always tend to treat myself to at least one or two. Um, this year, I forgot what the other one was, but one of them was uh, Velvet Muse because it's just such a lovely consistency. And when the color is right, which tends to be, and she's very inclusive when she thinks about what colors to make. And she takes into account, I think, undertones rather than skin color. So it comes across as universally flattering so as long as you generally like the color i would say take a chance and just go for it i don't think you'll be disappointed <laughs> the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Abu Dhabi with my uh, fingertips rather than straight on from the applicator. It's one of those examples of you don't have to wear everything full intensity right out of the applicator because then certain things can look corpse-like, um, especially when it comes to nude lipsticks, and you don't have to wear them to their full impact. You can give it a diffused look instead, and I think that would suit like a smoky eye or something a lot more and um personally in terms of this one i think the whipped moussey texture is like a relief in terms of wearing matte lips and i like the color i think it works and just use less than you think you'd need and i think you're gonna have a good time using it <music> released by sleek it's the hot matte collection and the color is o2 blush bloom but uh, perhaps as a result of watching a tad too much bridgerton this is what i would call the perfect english rose color like for you know back in the day or however you shall take it but it's a soft pink um it's very believable to be the, that natural flush of color i often use this across the lips and cheeks and it looks really seamless and that's the other thing that i love about it i would describe this as my perfect working from home lipstick not just in terms of color but in terms of texture it has like an oily glide almost for the lipstick and when it settles in it truly is just i can maybe swatch it for you when it settles in it's just this gorgeous like matte finish but it slides on like an oil and it's really comforting to wear and yeah that's one of the reasons i really really love it Kourtney Kardashian has appeared. So I thought I'd uh, throw in a fun little clip to show you how orange lipsticks can work for our skin tone. But when it's Tiger Teeny from Fenty Beauty Fluorescent, it becomes one of those things that you should probably pair with a lip liner. I just wanted to come here, A, to make you laugh and smile most probably, probably laugh, but also to show you that I know orange is an intimidating color and this is not a good representation of showing you that it works for us, but some of them can. I recently tried the Elson 2 from Pat McGrath, um, the Mac Trans, I know, <laughs> broken record here, but it was truly beautiful it, it's the one that i wore in my christmas videos i'll link a photo here i don't know if i'm gonna achieve that but hopefully something happens but in that photo you can see the orange can lean more towards red and more towards the warm rather than the shocking which is which this i would call is definitely orange cone orange so it's tiger teeny from fenty beauty not the most appealing advertise uh, advertisement for it but that's how it looks, and I will be taking a photo with it shortly. Now we have 
the sleek matte me um, lipstick or liquid lipstick in birthday suit and it's one of those colors which I think it speaks for itself it's just such a soft touch of nude I think you can see that I have a liking towards that range in general but I think it's all about the feel of it when it feels this velvety smooth it's not a pain to wear during the day so if you're looking for a comfortable one I would say definitely check out the matte me range also when applying as I said previously it's not about applying it fully from the applicator you can dab a little in the center and then slide it on and add on more and get to the color that you want because it's a beautiful consistency and again it just matches the natural blush and overheating that's happening whereas that's the evidence of tiger teeny which I should probably get rid of okay hope you guys like this one I really do <laughs> Okay, we are halfway in through the swatching and yes, that hurt and um, my lips are feeling it at this point, but I couldn't take my halfway break without showing you the one that has stayed in my collection the longest. This is not a formula I would recommend now because it's been so superseded by the other things that were out there, but it's the Maybelline Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick that came out, I don't know, maybe three years ago. And the color Seductress is probably one of the paler nudes that I have, but imagine this again with a smoky eye and it's just beautiful. I probably won't be buying from the range right now. I'd like the moussier, matter, more velvety textures that have come up, but in terms of a color match of the first in the industry, this was a bit of a winner. <laughs> So this next lipstick was actually introduced to me by my sister, Irma Poo, and it's usually the other way around where I'm telling my sisters about, okay, use this, buy this, or they're just taking it from me. But <laughs> this was a real find, and I think amongst us sisters, we probably have five of these lipsticks because it's just that good. It's that neutral, again, perfect for office, perfect for going out lipstick, mainly because of the texture. It's like a dusky rose neutral, that's how I'd describe it, and again, one that perfectly fits in with the complexion and any kind of glow that you might have going on. So I highly recommend it, smoky eye, like no makeup days or like minimal makeup. I think it works across a variety of looks, and I hope you like it too. So this is just a lipstick which has a really cute story behind it so I wanted to share it even though it's limited edition. Uh, the color is Princess Incognito from um, the collaboration that Aladdin the live film had with MAC and I remember telling my friends about it one day, Uruba and Alex, about how much I loved that color and I tried it out in store and it wasn't available and those two cuties tracked it down from whichever store it was available, bought it for me and I have loved it ever since. It is a really gorgeous you know how mac has hits and misses especially with how much they're bringing out recently and during the holiday time but this one was a absolute surefire hit i think it works beautifully on our complexions it's a peach nude it's like peach stock by mac but for brown complexions and i absolutely love it i'll let you know if i uh, think of any dupes from the collection that i have i think thick is a bit more neutral but hey we're not done swatching yet so i'm gonna finish up with this but yeah thought you'd like that little anecdote <laughs> This is the MAC Mullet Over Lipstick in their Powder Kiss Lipstick Formula and I absolutely love it. It's got that same, you know, now that the technology has been refined, I believe they released this about one and a half to two years ago and it's actually that liquid 
that whipped mousse consistency that you have in some of the liquid lipsticks that has been somehow boiled down to a lipstick tube and speaking of which the tube itself is like velvet and it looks gorgeous and as i was saying i just had um i just showed you the princess incognito from mac which was limited edition but it has this similar peachy brown vibe although that one i would say is a bit more on the nude side but this if just altered a little bit or applied a bit more lightly would get you around to that same end result of having just that soft wash of color on the lips. And yeah, I really like both the color and the formula and it's my first time trying it out. realized that I had been taking all of these photos because when I'm filming I can't actually see the full-on view of what I'm doing unless I'm looking directly at the at this angle and I realized I had done my half eyeliner thinking it looks fine it looks chic but in all of the photos um it's come out really weird so I'm sorry if that's a uh, not helping anyone with swatch references i think it shouldn't be a problem but generally yes i've just realized that it looks like i'm totally zoned out in most of them but i trust trust me it's just an eyeliner issue and i hope you can look past it <laughs> also p.s the mac powder kiss lipsticks it might be in my head and after so many layers of lipsticks it might also be on my tongue but they taste really good I know that MAC always had like a vanilla smell, but this might be the first time they've incorporated it into the taste of it. But yeah, New Year's resolution, no sugar. Jokes about the sugar. I had like a shit ton of mince pies already this day. So now I am on to my next MAC Powder Kiss lipstick and I can confirm I am in love with the formula. I can also confirm most, uh, more importantly, um, that the delicious taste I was talking about is indeed from this lipstick range but it is so moisturizing so emollient across the lips and again just just so easy to wear I'd call it um a brick red color and it was actually um the darker counterpart of this called devoted to chili which was like touted as the it color of fall 2020 which seems like ages ago it probably wasn't having tried that color out on me, it seemed a little bit mumsy, a little bit more terracotta brown rather than the reddish brick that I was looking for. But I think that would also be flattering on our skin tones and darker and lighter as more of a statement lip. But I would definitely say if a color catches your eye, try out the lipstick range itself, the Powder Kiss lipstick range, because I really like the formula of it itself. If you just want a soft, diffused, like, smokescreen lip look, third mention. <laughs> this even in my head is a mumsy color but i'll tell you what what is wrong with being a mother they are legends we all love our mothers we say that they're angels on earth and this there this is then it's virtue that it represents the best of humanity our mothers i've been filming for too long i may i may be going slightly sugar deprivation levels but there are two more lipsticks to go and i will be finishing this um so this is what i would call a neutral staple brown it is from melt cosmetics and it is in the color rebound and i think it is a glorious it's kind of similar to fenty beauty in spanked interestingly enough in everything that i've been filming so far i haven't actually had dupes across all these i think just under 20 lipsticks um but this one i would say is like a browner version of fenty spanked it is very comfortable to wear because I think it's infused with oil even though it's a liquid lipstick and it just sets and stays really nicely and as it wears off it leaves a stain so you don't have that embarrassing like you know just lip liner look um cat's bum as it's apparently called but um the thing is while you are applying it you have to be a bit careful of how you're going over the edges because once it's on it's on it um so you can see even here it's been a bit uneven it's not unfixable but 
it's just a more of a moisturizing texture than you would um, expect perhaps from a liquid lipstick by virtue of it having oil but it does mean it's a lot more comfortable to wear so it's worth being a little bit patient or just doing a little bit cleanup afterwards to make sure that it has the best look because it's gonna last a long long time <laughs> orange scare from earlier i'm here to remedy that with showing you a color group that i think naturally works for our skin tones even though it's so cool uh as a uh, undertone it contrasts like the warmth that we naturally have in our skin tone very very nicely and the color range i would call it between the fuchsias from the bright end to the darker berries and they naturally look just really gorgeous on our complexions um this one that i'm wearing is flamingo acid by fenty beauty and um i absolutely love the color i have some very similar dark raspberries as i would also call them in my collection but it's one color and variations of which that i can't stop getting enough of but i hope i've just shown you another way that you know let uh, a bold lipstick doesn't have to be a red and b it doesn't have to be scary and it can work quite well with something as simple as just some eyeliner and mascara and hoops <laughs> final lipstick of the day i know it's not technically a nude or a neutral um perhaps a neutral but more of a dark berry wine and it is probably the color that i recommend to absolutely everyone near or around our skin tone i've seen it look fabulous as a bold statement on paler skin tones and just look like this rich chocolatey lovely color on deeper skin tones and on mine i think it stands somewhere between brick red berry again in that category of perfect for a party perfect for the office and it can really make a statement when you pair it with a darker brown um lip liner underneath from my new year's eve post although that day i was wearing a different lipstick a similar effect can be achieved with a much cheaper option of maybelline divine wine from the drugstore just paired with a darker lip liner so yeah i think that is the end of the series for me um it has been a joy to film it, but it has also been three hours of hard work. And I think I'm going to give my lips and my voice the rest of the night off and go and perhaps watch another episode of Killing Eve with Jamie, which is just so good. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful because my God, am I going to need to use a lot of moisturizer to get this back to working condition. But it's been incredibly fun and I've been wanting to do it for ages. Thank you again, Anika, for the idea. And thank you, Samira Apu, for kind of sparring on that inspiration last minute. I hope it's been enjoyable and fun. And yeah, I'm just really excited that I've conquered such a big one on uh, pretty early in the new year. I hope you, your ones are going well as well um hope everyone's staying safe everyone's staying happy doing what they can and um hopefully this added just that last sprinkling of joy onto your day thank you again for watching and um stay safe stay healthy <laughs>